Neighbors came together to celebrate the Afro-Caribbean influence in Puerto Rican arts at Roxbury's Delhi Square. People enjoyed music, performances, and even tried their bomba and plena moves with lessons from the dancers. This is just a bright spot in this community, and we need more events like this. Bomba and plena music emerged in the 17th century when enslaved West Africans who worked the sugar plantations were seeking to create a sense of community. Bomba was a source of political and spiritual expression of their conditions. The Umano Project works to preserve this story and continues to pass it down through generations. This is especially important in this election season as Latino communities face misconceptions about their culture. Member of the Umano Project, Sandra Marcelino, says events like these are critical to preserving the traditions previous generations have tried so hard to maintain. These kinds of events are super important because they give an opportunity for people who are doing this type of cultural preservation work to come out into the community and to connect with other people who are seeking that kind of event, that kind of energy, that kind of connection. Latinos use cultural events not only to pass down the traditions, but also to heal and move past common stereotypes. Recent comments by presidential candidate Donald Trump riled up Latinos across the country, calling for unity among Hispanic communities nationwide. Jorge Arce says people sometimes forget where their ancestors came from. The United States is an immigrant country. They, don't, they forget about that, that their ancestors, uh, ancestors were immigrants and they went through the same problem. As the Latino population continues to be one of the fastest growing minority populations in the country, activists say community's heritage celebration will be key to preserving their roots and contributing to the nation's diversity. For Temple Street, I'm Jeanette Orihel.